Hi guys, I hope everyone is having a great day. I am one of you aiming to build quality content in statistics. I believe together we can help each other grow. Today, I have some very interesting and important questions for us to cover in maximum likelihood estimates. This is more of a problem solving session and soon I will make another video with concepts of MLE. Let's get started. We have been given that x1, x2, xn is a random sample from a Bernoulli distribution with probability mass function theta to the power x, 1 minus theta to the power 1 minus x. x takes value 0 and 1 and theta is from 0 to 1. Now, what is the first step we take to find a maximum likelihood estimator? We find the likelihood function. The likelihood function can be given as. Now, since log is a one to one transformation, we can use log L theta and analyze it. Taking log L theta is equal to summation xi log theta plus n minus summation xi log 1 minus theta. We simply differentiate log L theta with theta which gives theta equals to summation xi upon n. But the catch is if the observed values of theta are such that theta is from 0 to 1 by 3 then what will be the estimator under this restriction if we obtain the value of x bar such that x bar is from 0 to 1 by 3 then x bar is taken as the MLE or if x bar exceeds 1 by 3 then 1 by 3 is taken as the MLE so theta MLE is x bar or 1 by 3 whatever is the minimum of them it is important to remember that MLEs under regularity conditions are consistent. Moving on to the next question. We have been given x1, x2, xn as a random sample from gamma distribution with alpha equals to 3 and beta equals to theta. We have to find the MLE of theta. Simply writing the fx of the given distribution. Then we take the likelihood function as the product of fx size, taking log of likelihood function. Now, in order to find the value of theta such that it maximizes the likelihood function, differentiate log likelihood function with respect to theta and put it equals to 0, which gives theta equals to summation xi upon 3n. Hence, theta MLE equals to x bar upon 3. Now, question number third. Let x1, x2, xn represent a random sample from each of the distributions having the following PDF. And we have to find the MLEs of theta. A fx equals to theta x to the power theta minus 1 where x is from 0 to 1 and theta is from 0 to infinity. As usual, we write the information we have first fx equals to theta x to the power theta minus 1. Finding likelihood function is equal to theta to the power n product of xi to the power theta minus 1. Simply taking log of this likelihood function which is equal to n log theta plus theta minus 1 summation log xi. In order to find theta that maximizes the given likelihood function, we differentiate log likelihood with respect to theta. Upon differentiation, we find that theta equals to minus summation log xi upon n. So that is the MLE of theta. B part fx theta equals to e to the power minus x minus theta. x is from theta to infinity and theta is from minus infinity to infinity. These type of questions are very common for all the competitive examinations. Now 
As usual, we try to check if we can solve this question with likelihood method. Here we see that log likelihood is equal to minus summation xi minus theta. Upon differentiating with respect to theta, it will not give any estimate of theta. So we will simply change our approach. Whenever we think of any likelihood function, our main objective is to maximize that likelihood function. So we see that our likelihood function is e to the power minus summation xi minus theta. If one has to think analytically, we understand that the likelihood function will be maximized when the term in exponent is maximized or when the term inside the negative is minimized. So, minimum value the theta takes here is x1, hence theta mle equals to x1. Moving on to the next question. We have been given y1, y2, yn as the order statistics of a random sample from a distribution with PDF fx equals to 1, where x is from theta minus 1 by 2 to theta plus 1 by 2. Theta is from minus infinity to infinity. So we have to find the MLE. As usual, if we see using the likelihood function approach, we see that likelihood is simply the product of x i, which is equal to 1. So, no information can be gained from such a likelihood function. Now, going one step back and understanding that our main objective is to maximize the likelihood function. So, we use indicator function. Now, recall that when x belongs to uniform 0, theta, x1 is the MLE of x. Hence, similarly, we can say that theta minus 1 by 2 is less than equal to x1 and xn is less than equal to theta plus 1 by 2. Hence, theta is from yn minus 1 by 2 to yn plus 1 by 2 where yn is the order statistic. Now, question number 5th. Suppose x1, x2, xn are iid with pdf fx theta equals to 2x upon theta square, where x is from 0 to theta. Now, we have to find the MLE of theta. Let's solve this question. Now, again, we observe that likelihood function doesn't render any information here. So, we can't differentiate log L with respect to theta as it doesn't render any information. We again observe that 1 is maximized when theta takes the minimum value. Now, what is the minimum value that theta can take? Is equal to nth order statistic. So, theta MLE equals to xn. Let's level up the question. Let's find a constant c such that expected value of c theta hat equals to theta, where theta hat is the MLE for theta. So here I am trying to find the distribution of nth order statistic. So the CDF is equal to x square upon theta square. Let's simply take nth order statistic as yn. So finding the distribution of y, the pdf of y is 2n minus 1 y to the bar tn minus 1 theta to the bar 2n. So finding expectation of y, ey equals to 2n minus 1 into theta upon 2n plus 1. Hence, 2n plus 1 upon 2n minus 1 into y is an unbiased estimator of theta. Now, we do another question. We have to find the MLE 
for the median of this distribution. Now fx equals to 2x upon theta square. We simply find the median. Median is a value which distributes the given distribution into equal probabilities. So median square equals to theta square. Hence median equals to theta upon under root 2. MLE of theta square by 2 equals to xn square upon 2. Hence MLE of median is an xn by under root 2. Now moving on to the next question. We have been given that x1, x2, xn are iid with pdf 1 upon theta e to the power minus x by theta. And we have to find the MLE of probability of x less than equal to 2. Let's write down the density function and the likelihood function. So, finding log likelihood and differentiating it with respect to theta gives theta equals to summation xi by n which is equal to x bar and probability of x less than equal to 2 equals to 1 minus a to the power minus 2 by theta. We already know that theta MLE equals to x bar. Hence, probability of x bar less than equal to 2 MLE equals to 1 minus e to the power minus 2 upon x bar. Question number 7. This is a very interesting question. We have been given a table which represents a summary of a sample of size 50 from a binomial distribution having n equals to 5. Now we have to find the MLE of probability of x greater than equals to 3. Let's solve this question. Now, p hat equals to fifty three by one twenty five. Then, probability of x greater than equals to three is x goes from three to five. Five c x p hat to the power x one minus p hat to the power five minus x. Simply put, p hat equals to 53 upon 125. Moving on to the next question, we have been given a table where we have the data of random sample of size 55 from a poison distribution. We have to find the MLE of probability of x equals to 2. Now, we will start with finding x bar, which is basically summation fi xi upon summation fi. So, x bar equals to 2.103. To find probability of x equals to 2 mle, which is equal to e to the power minus x bar, x bar to the power 3 upon 3 factorial. And we will simply put x bar equals to 2.10. Now question number 9, we have been given x1, x2, xn as a random sample from Bernoulli distribution with parameter p and if p is restricted such that p is only from 1 by 2 to 1, we have to find the MLE of p. Now here x belongs to Bernoulli distribution with parameter p. We will find the likelihood function and we will find the log likelihood. Differentiating log likelihood with respect to p and equating it equals to 0, we get p equals to summation xi upon n. Hence, p hat equals to x bar. Now, if x bar belongs to 1 by 2 to 1, p hat equals to x bar. And if x bar belongs to 0 to 1 by 2, here the values of p are not permissible. Hence, we take p hat equals to maximum of 1 by 2 or x bar. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स एन इज अ रैंडम सैंपल फ्रॉम द पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विथ थीटा फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू वी हैव टू फाइंड द एम एल ई ऑफ थीटा हियर एक्स आई बिलोंग्स टू पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन विद पैरामीटर थीटा देन वी राइट द पी डी एफ ऑफ एक्स एज ए टू डिपार माइनस थीटा थीटा टू डिपार एक्स आई अपॉन एक्स आई फैक्टोरियल एज यूजल राइटिंग लाइकलीहुड फंक्शन एंड देन फाइंडिंग लॉग लाइकलीहुड ऑन डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग लॉग लाइकलीहुड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू थीटा एंड इक्वेटिंग टू जीरो गिव्स थीटा एम एल ई इक्वल्स टू एक्स बार बट हियर थीटा इज रिस्ट्रिक्टेड फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू इफ एक्स बार बिलोंग्स टू जीरो टू टू वी यूज एक्स बार एज एन एम एल ई एंड इफ एक्स बार इज ग्रेटर देन टू then theta and l equals to 2 that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed learning as much as i enjoyed sharing these lessons please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these thank you